Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam MFE. For a two-period binomial model you are given, each period is one year. The current price for a non-dividend paying stock is $20. U is 1.2840 where U is 1 plus the rate of capital gain on the stock per period if stock price goes up d is equal to 0 0.8607, where d is uh, 1 plus the rate of capital loss on the stock per period if stock price goes down. Now that rate of capital loss is a negative number, that's why you end up with uh, d being less than 1. Um, the continuous compounded annual risk-free rate is 0 0.05. Calculate the price of an American call option on the stock with a strike price of 22. So to study this problem, we construct the two-period binomial tree for changing stock prices. We calculate the stock prices at various nodes as follows. SU is the price f uh, from now when the price is 20. After the, m the move up in uh, first period, so that's going to be 20 times 1.284 or 25.68. SD is the price after a move down. It's 20 times 0.8607 or 17.214. SUU is the price after two moves up over two periods. So um, it's 25.68 times 1.284 or 32.97312. SUD or SDU, they're both they're equal. It's uh, that's equal to 17.214 times 1.284, or 22.102776. And SDD is the price after two moves down, and that's going to be 17.214 times 0 0.8607, or f and that's equal to 14.8160908980898. And we have the resulting binomial tree with the prices I just named, but also, what is added here are the payoffs of the option. It's a call option with the exercise price of 22, giving you the right to buy the stock at 22. And the value of that option after two years is given, and it's equal to always the excess of the price of the stock over 22. So in the up, after up, up move, that ends up being 10.97312. After up, down, or down, and in either case, up, down, or down, up, uh, that ends up being a 0 0.102776. But if the price falls out to 14.8160898, then the call is worthless because you can buy the stock in the market for much less than 22. Then the risk neutral probability of for the stock going up is given by the formula that you learned, um, which is uh, p star is e to the uh, r minus delta, where delta is the continuously compounded rate of uh, dividend yield of the stock, um, times h and uh, minus d, the whole thing divided by u minus d. Now in this case the period of time a length h is one year um, r the risk free interest rate is five percent uh, continuously compounded of course and delta is zero so what we end up with is e to the 0 0.05 minus 0 0.8607 divided by 1.284 minus 0 0.8607 and that's approximately 0 0.4502 and the risk neutral probability for the stock going down is 1 minus that, so it's approximately 
If the option is European, then the value of the call in the up state after one year is just the um, discounted value of the expected value of the payoff at the end um, in two states that you can go to from the up state um, but the expected value is calculated using the risk neutral probabilities so we plug them in we calculate that ends up being about 4.75295266 for the down state um, the one of the states to go to at the end of two years is down down when the value of the option is zero now the payoff is zero so only the uh, down up move matters here and the expected present value at time one of that payoff at time two uh, ends up being 0 0.04401348 for American option we need to compare these values with the value of the option if it is exercised at time one and we see that uh, payoff of exercise at time one um, in the up state is uh, 25.68 minus 22 it's positive it's 3.68 but that's less than the value based on the future payoffs so uh, the option will not will not be exercised and then the value in the down state is zero so obviously the option will not be exercised either as the values of the option at time one in the up node are 4.75295266 and in the down node are 0.04401348. And the value of the call at time zero will be the expected present value at time zero of these two values calculated using risk neutral probabilities and risk free interest rate of 5% continuously compounded. So we just plug in the risk neutral probabilities, those two values that we have, risk free um, continuously compounded interest rate of 5%, and we end up with uh, 2.058454465. That's uh, answer C. But let us note, and that's important for you to remember for the test, that since the stock pays no dividends, the price of American call option is the same as the price of European call option. Thus, we did not have to consider the value of value exercise. We could have, we could use the the direct formula based on those payoffs at time two. Calculate the expected present value under risk neutral probabilities of the payoffs at time two, discounted all the way to time zero. And the interest rate is 5% continuous compounded per year. So discounted over two years, it will be e to the minus 0.1, multiplied by, while well, the payoffs are in the up, up state, 10.97312, and that has a probability, that up, up move has a probability of moving up, or 0 0.4502, Oh, three, 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 uh, nine. Um, but two moves like that have the probability of that p star times p star. So that's why this is squared uh, plus two times because you can move up and down or down or up. Two times the property of an up move times the property of down move times the payoff uh, in this um, state of up down or down up at time two which is 0 0.102776 plus the third term is zero because the payoff in that state down down state is zero and uh, if we calculate it we get exactly the same answer as in the first calculation and this was more direct and a faster way to do it you need to remember that for a stock that pays no dividends, the price of American call option is the same as the price of European call option. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from a society of actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.